Hey guys, it's uh, Corey and Guy from Gun Prime, and we got two cool new products from Smith & Wesson right here. We got the 5.56 pistol from Smith & Wesson, MP15, and what do you got, Guy? This is the 22 version of the same gun. A lot of companies haven't been coming out with new items in 2020, but Smith & Wesson came out with a pistol. They finally joined the party, and uh, I think they're here to impress. We're going to take the 22 to the range, but first let's uh, unbox this 5.56 pistol. So... Immediately open the box, it's just like your Sport 2 box, your regular one. A lot of these PDW pistols, a little short seven and a half inch barrel right here, are getting these linear compensators like the Daniel Defense DDM4, PDW, etc. But it's a really nice streamlined rail. I really like that. m -lock. it's got your MMP little symbol right here. Can you show them the little linear comp? Oh yeah, that's cool. So what are those holes for around the edge? That's, um, for i'm not an engineer but it's to uh put the gases forward so it's going to help with uh the blast and also getting some of the uh sound out of the shooter's ear and pushing it forward we've got pick rail going all the way down the top let's get your t marks on there all the way down i know people like that for remembering where they're going to put their optic or whatever to hold zero if you take it off one of the cool features right here you got a flat face trigger right here little flat face trigger i've never seen one of these on a smith and wesson yeah that's pretty sweet nice little addition uh what i think is probably one of the coolest features on here is the grip so it's very similar to their mmp model pistol grips right there nice texturing like the 2.0 mmp pistols and it comes with your grip module right here so if you got bigger smaller hands you can fit it to your hand which is really nice they didn't skimp on the SBA3, SB Tacticals makes the best braces out there. They staked it right here at the castle nut. Just a little bit of staking. So why do you stake it? So it doesn't back out. I've actually had these back out. I know some people say Loctite, but I've seen red Loctite back out. So staking is always good. Right here, you got your just your regular charging handle right here, not Ambi or anything. They maintain the forward assist on here. Some people like it, some people don't. I like forward assist. It's chambered in 556, not 223. Nice little compact gun, seven and a half inches. Everybody likes those short guns right now. I see this being very popular. Let's compare it to the 22. A little bit different grip. That's the first thing that uh, comes out, but they didn't skimp on that either. So that's a Magpul grip, which is a very nice grip too. Uh, like Guy said earlier, it's a little bit shorter barrel. You half an inch. Yeah, half an inch shorter. <laughs> this one has a A2 flash hider on it. So that's what most of the Sport 2s have on them that I've seen. Or like the bigger, the rifle. Yeah, that's what most guns are going to come with. Anyways. We added this. It didn't come with the red dot or the green dot, obviously. We added that one just so we could shoot it. Maybe Smith & Wesson will start doing it like they do with the Crimson Trace optics eventually. We'll see. Same uh, brace right here. There's so no it's got the shell deflector, yep. but no um, forward, assist. forward assist. Another cool thing I like about the mag on the 22, and Guy will show you later how to, how he loads it, but it makes it a little bit easier being able to pull that down. Okay. That's really nice. Especially even, I don't care how strong you are. If you've been loading mags all day, that's a lot easier. Um, very similar. Rail, you don't have your T marks on the 22 compared to the 5.56, 5, really light. Smooth action. It's all blacked out. There's no white MMP marks, it's just all black versus your MMP right here. Um, now I'm gonna turn it over to Guy to give you all some pros and cons about the pistols we see right here. The pros, the biggest pro to me is you're buying Smith & Wesson, which is a great name, great warranty. If you ever have any issues, you send it back. No questions asked. I mean, it's going to be fixed. You know they're, you're getting a good product. Great components. Everything from the grip to the trigger to the brace. The forward grip. Linear compensator. So you get to pick out the sights of your choosing. And it comes with this metal forward grip. But the only con I would say is, you know, it, it doesn't come with sights out of the box. So you're either going to need to get flip-up sights or red dot.
All right, thanks for watching. We just want to give you a quick look at these guns. They just came in. It's a relatively new um, product on the market. We just thought it'd be cool to do a quick video on it. And so thanks for watching. Hey, we're happy to review any guns or take anything out to the range. It'll be a good excuse for us to go out there. Just don't tell the boss that we're goofing off making videos. We enjoy making these for you guys. Thanks for watching.